The invention of the tank by the British during World War I broke the stalemate of trench warfare in 1917. The lessons learned in World War II culminated in Centurion, which since 1948 has seen action in Korea, Vietnam and the Middle East. It outmatched all competition up to the mid-1970s and continues in service. Chieftain has been the British Army's battle tank since 1965. It was ahead of its time in many of its features and has been adopted by several Middle East The layout of Challenger and the location of its four crew members is conventional. The power pack is at the rear. The driver is located centrally at the front. He reclines when operating head down, but has a normal upright posture when driving head out. The reclining driver feature, together with separate ammunition, enables the height of the hull to be kept to a minimum. Within the turret, the gunner is located forward and to the right, with the commander behind him. The loader radio operator occupies the left-hand side. With Challenger, more emphasis has been placed on mobility, giving it equal importance to protection. The new 1200 horsepower Rolls-Royce engine, coupled with hydrogas suspension, gives Challenger the agility normally associated with smaller battle tanks. Challenger retains the well-proven Chieftain 120mm gun. The gun offers considerable development potential to counter increases in armour protection. A new fin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding sabo round is provided, whose penetration and lethality is significantly greater than the earlier APDS round. It's used in conjunction with a charge with a combustible case. This round still retains the high accuracy of its predecessors. The range of this target was 1,100 meters, and the width of the group was approximately 64 centimeters. In addition, hash, smoke, illuminating and canister shells are available these being fired by a smaller bag charge. The combustible charges eliminate the problems of disposal and toxicity normally associated with metal cases. The normal stowage mix of 52 rounds comprises 32 FS APDS, 15 HESH and five other natures, although alternative mixes are possible to suit individual user requirements. Considerable advances have been made in fire control systems since the early days of Centurion. Research has been aimed at helping the gunner and commander to carry out their tasks in a more efficient manner. Challenger's new fire control system permits target acquisition and engagement by either the gunner or commander. It has been designed to speed up target acquisition, reduce engagement times, increase the chance of a first round hit particularly against moving targets at longer ranges, simplify the tasks of gunner and commander, and shorten crew training time. The fire control system has first a powerful and responsive stabilization system, which enables the gunner to keep his aiming point on successive targets whilst traveling across country. Secondly, a muzzle reference system which enables the gunner to confirm rapidly that his line of sight and the gun barrel are accurately aligned. 
Thirdly, a computer, which is the heart of the fire control system, integrating the range, vehicle and target speed, and all other data essential for a successful engagement. This computer then instructs the gun control equipment to correctly lay the gun. This is how the system works. The commander, or gunner, starts to track an enemy target. Using his thumb control, he lays his MBS mark onto the target. Then selects main armament and ammunition type, fires the laser rangefinder, whereupon an ellipse is projected over the target. On switching to auto lay, details of range and ammunition type, weather conditions, vehicle speed and attitude, barrel wear and other data, enable the computer to lay the gun with fine accuracy, adjusting the ellipse to just encompass a typical tank at the range. This is, we believe, the most practical and cost-effective fire control system available on any tank in production. In the event of damage to the primary fire control system, a range of progressive fallback modes are available, including an emergency telescope for the gunner. In the 80s, protection is still vitally important. With its Chobham armour, Challenger is designed to withstand attack from all known types of anti-tank ammunition. The three most significant being the armour-piercing discarding Sabo and its more powerful fin-stabilised successor. The high-explosive squash head round, which relies on scabbing for its effect. And the shaped charge or heat round. All of these are extremely difficult to defeat with conventional armour. Here, a 120mm gun is shown firing an APDS round at a solid steel plate, followed by a high-explosive shaped charge warhead. Both attacks severely overmatch this target. The attacks are now repeated against a demonstration Chobham armour array of the same weight. First, a heat round of the size incorporated in the larger anti-tank guided weapons followed by 120mm APDS. Another heat round. And finally, a second APDS. As can be seen, all these attacks are defeated by the armour. Challenger incorporates an advanced version of this system over its main frontal arc providing balanced protection against both kinetic and chemical attacks. Not only does Challenger have a high level of protection against direct fire, but it also retains the high resistance to mine and indirect fire attacks, for which Centurion and Chieftain are renowned. A major cause of the total destruction of a tank in battle is an ammunition fire resulting from penetrations of the main armour. In Challenger, this danger is reduced by stowing bag charges in special fire suppressing containers below the turret ring. In the event of a hot metal fragment penetrating a charge bin, a mixture of glycol and water under pressure quenches the fire before it has a chance to become serious. In future conflicts, all troops will be vulnerable to nuclear, biological and chemical attacks. Challenger has an MBC system providing a clean pressurized crew compartment. This enables the crew to work in confidence without wearing respirators. Should respirators be necessary, these are plugged into special ducting, greatly reducing the breathing load and resultant crew fatigue. One one alpha, top hat over. The basic vehicle is fitted with Klansman radios, which are used in all British Army AFVs. However, alternative installations can be fitted to meet particular user requirements. Challenger is powered by a 1200 horsepower Rolls-Royce turbocharged diesel engine. The four-speed automatic transmission is
training to become proficient. If desired, part of this instruction may be carried out on a driver training simulator. The Rolls-Royce 1200 horsepower engine and hydro-gas suspension provide Challenger with battlefield mobility, which will more than meet the requirements of the most demanding, experienced user. Chobham Armour affords levels of protection without equal on any other tank in service. The 120mm gun, thin stabilised armour-piercing rounds and an advanced computerised fire control system gives Challenger outstanding hitting power. Challenger is a British tank retaining in its design the essential characteristics of its battle-proven predecessors. It is the tank of the 90s and will remain in service with the British Army for many years to come.